Hey everybody, Lee Constantino, the body console here. And this lovely lady is Helen, who had, uh, she loves purple. <laughs> and she just been, yeah. she's been through the program. She's had a fantastic result. So I'm gonna ask Helen some questions and dig in to find out about her experience and her time working with us. So Helen, before we connected, what were you doing with your health and fitness? So I was trying to do it on my own, doing the like no carbs, just protein and salads, and, like fish and salads, maybe just like porridge in the morning um, or protein shakes. And I found that that did work at one point, but it was like a quick fix. And then I put it all back on and then it just wasn't working for me again. I was only, I actually at my highest, I went to 74.9. And on my own, I only managed to get to 71. And I just, it wasn't shifting. It just kept sort of going up and down, up and down. So how long was it going up and down for? Um, so I reckon I started trying to like really lose the weight back in um, June last year. Okay. So I didn't come to you till like March. So between that time and March, it just wasn't shifting um i was going to the gym and i wasn't doing any weights it was literally just like cardio like i would do i don't know like 20 minutes on the bike maybe 20 minutes on the running machine 20 minutes on the cross trainer and that was it but it just wasn't shifting nothing was working okay and how did you feel how did you feel at that time at 71 72 kilos uh rubbish <laughs> felt well, I felt uncomfortable in myself because that was the biggest I've ever been. Um, yeah, I felt uneasy, uncomfortable. Um, just I probably stopped wearing certain clothes because I didn't feel at ease with myself anymore. And it was, it was becoming frustrating and upsetting that I couldn't understand why I couldn't shift it. Cool. And so how did we connect? How did we, how did you get to this place of being in the programme? Well, <laughs> so um, I actually first saw you on that shot. Is it no Scarlett Johnson? Is it Scarlett Johnson? The video. <laughs> Everyone needs to know. Was <laughs> that her surname? Scarlett Johnson, right? Um, so I saw I saw that I actually bought that workout video. Did it for a little bit, like every like always, and then just like oh, gave up on it. Yeah. And then I decided to follow you. I think it was on Instagram and I'd watch you here and then. And then I found you, I think, on Facebook as well. So I was just following you and then I would just be following like people's stories that you would do, like clips, um, your talks that you would do like in the morning, that like, you would do like those little, um, I don't know, you'll be walking somewhere, I was supposed to be on the gym. So I was like, come on, and you've never met them. It, are they trying to sell you something that's not real? You always got that apprehension, like you don't know. So I watched you for a while and then um, I, think I messaged you through Facebook and that's how we connected. Yeah, yeah. I, rem I remember because you were like, yep, yeah, I'm ready to do this. I'm done. Like, <laughs> I don't want to waste any more time. And it was a special <laughs> You were like, hey, I need to be ready for my birthday. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. Yeah. Um, but what were some of the things we did, Helen, so that you could break through this plateau that you were stuck in for 10 months and, and finally lose this weight? What did we do to get you there? Um, so diet-wise, uh, first of all, you put me on it. I think it was it. But did you, was, was it, I can't remember, was it four weeks? Or was it four weeks you put me on that diet plan? So you had a, you had a structured plan for a period yeah. of time. Straight away, so you think, go to Cyprus, yeah. Yeah, so I think it starts, so yeah, so you gave me um, what to eat, so I had to follow that structured plan, but it was also, I was travelling back and forth to Cyprus pretty much at the beginning of that, so I was trying to do that, and we had to sort of reverse it and do flexi in, yeah. and then go back, so it was a little bit back and forth, like, as most people would have been structured from the beginning, and then yeah. went on to flexi, so I was doing that. Then we was doing, we changed um, the exercise in the gym. So we started doing weights, 
but three, it started off with three times a week. Um, and food wise was probably a lot more than what I was eating. I was probably in like minimum thinking that you eat less, you'll lose weight. But I was eating so much more and it was quite scary for, scary for me because I thought, okay, I'm going to eat more. I'm going to put on weight, which didn't happen. Um, yeah. So I think that's how we, we started off. Nice. And so you came to me, the goal was get you in shape for your boy, get this weight off, fit into yeah. dress. And so did you manage to do that? Did you manage to achieve what you wanted? Yeah. I lost the weight. <laughs> yeah. How much? Um, well, I went to, so it's like, yeah, just, yeah, like 11 kilos, if you say from 71, it was 60.5. So 11 kilos. At the beginning, I have to be honest, I didn't think it was going to shift. And I think I kept saying that to you, it's not moving, it's not shifting, it's not shifting. And you did encourage me because I was going back and forth from Cyprus. So it was harder to um, maintain and keep it. Obviously, I couldn't go to the gym. So I was doing the HIIT exercises instead while I was there. Um, and it was f for a long time, I was going like between 70 to 68, 70 to 68. And I was like, this isn't working, this isn't working. And you're like, give it time, give it time, be patient. Um, and then once I come back, we start doing the flexi in and increasing the diet and changing the plan, it just started to drop off. Like, yeah, yeah. and then I kept to it. And I got there, I got, got there. It. You certainly did, Helen, and you rocked it with your favorite dress and I had the pleasure to be there. And um, yes, did. how did you feel? going through that journey and finally wearing that dress on your birthday with all your friends and family and and being there how did that feel it was amazing I felt comfortable because normally I'd be in a dress and I would be like trying to hold in my stomach taking pictures as well and it's probably the first time I didn't need to hold in my stomach because there was nothing to hold in and I felt comfortable and I look at the pictures and for the first time I can actually say I actually feel comfortable like, I wouldn't even take pictures of like full body it would just be a selfie of my face and you'll probably see that if you go back and look so yeah you said it was just you just had selfies up and you said from some point in time so from august i started um putting up like full body shots i wouldn't have ever have done that because i just wasn't comfortable in my skin or my body i felt like overweight so now I feel more confident yeah. and it was, ama it was amazing because a lot of people hadn't seen me. I, I purposely hid away yeah, yeah. <laughs> until the birthday party. So a lot of people hadn't seen me before and it was really nice to get all those compliments and saying, oh, you look good, you look amazing, you've lost a lot of weight. And it's like, it's like all that hard work paid off. It and did. I got there. put so yeah. much hard work in. And you know, you do get out what you put in, but I think the right. cool thing um, about your journey as well was you didn't just like go and train and then like go on this like low calorie diet. You actually were able to manage to still enjoy your life, didn't you, throughout the journey? Oh yeah, so um, yeah, and that was the whole purpose. So I always said like, I want to be able to eat and not feel like I'm on a diet and enjoy my life because there's no way I'm gonna be able to maintain that. It's just not maintainable Sorry. so um through asking you like loads of questions which i probably like did <laughs> bombard you with i would be like right i'm gonna go out but if i go out it always goes up the next day what can i do so it doesn't go up and i'm not fighting to bring it back down so you would tell me like okay cut cut back on this like cut back you tell me right the main things that you do and it's so true when you're out carbs and fat and probably you're going to be higher on that. When you went out, you were able to make better choices? or still Yeah, so obviously the main thing I would say to everyone as well, ask loads of questions. Like, like us, like Lee, or if you've got Gary helping you, ask questions. Don't sit there stressing, oh, but how do I do this? Just ask, every, even if you think it's a stupid question, just ask yeah. the question. Just, it doesn't matter because actually it's probably going to help you on your journey. So mine was, I wanted to go out. 
I wanted to be able to eat when I'm out and the next day the scale will not go out. And that was the problem I was having. So I had to ask you and it's like, I'm going out and it's going up and then I'm battling to bring it back down again. And I feel like it's a constant battle. Yeah. And I felt like, oh, well, I can't go out. I didn't want to be like, oh, I can't go out. So you tell me, which is true, when you're out, you probably eat more carbs and fat-based food and it's less protein. So keep your protein up throughout the day, cut down your fat and carbs. And actually, if you know that you're going out, yeah. um, like at the beginning of the week and you're going out at the end of the week, just lower those things throughout the week so that you account for it at the end. And it actually does work. And that's what I do now. I account for it. So if I'm going out and I know I'm going out, I account for it. So I don't put on any extra weight and even account for the alcohol. <laughs> Helen, you just gave away all of my secrets. Now nobody's going to join the program. <laughs> she just gave it all away. So you guys, you know, you can do this yourselves. <laughs> Um, you know, but the thing is though, Ellen, right, it's not rocket science, is it? It's like once you learn these basic principles no. and you take the time, you, you ask the questions, yeah. you can be in control and you can go out and enjoy yourself, have a few drinks and exactly. not feel like you're on this, like you said, this diet. Because anyone who's ever been on one, which is most people, it, they never last longer than a few weeks, maybe a couple months at most. And so it's so important that this is part of your lifestyle. And, you know, it's something that you can see doing through Christmas into the new year. Yeah. And most importantly, keeping the weight off. So do you feel like now you can keep this weight down and not gain it all back? Oh, yeah, definitely. As long as I don't, like, go crazy. <laughs> don't binge eat, people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, so anyone who's watching this video going, hmm, I've seen this Lee guy. I've seen him talking online. I've seen his videos. I've seen a few people. Um, what, what few things could you say to them, right? If they're in a position like you, maybe they've got a birthday, they've got Christmas coming up and they want to fit into that dress or that outfit. What few things can you say to them to encourage them? Just, just go for it. It really does work. I know people at the beginning of the program will be like, it's not working. It's not working, but just trust it. It does work. It just takes time. Obviously you've been eating a certain way, so you've got to adjust to it. Um, be open-minded and willing to do whatever Lee tells you to do, or Gary. <laughs> um, yeah, and it really will work. Just, just caveat that with your nutrition and training. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Lee tells you to do, <laughs> jump off the roof. <laughs> yeah, just the nutrition and training. <laughs> and, the, and, and the other life advice, you know, slipped in there every now and then. <laughs> uh, I'm just my trailer full. Thanks for that. I'm sorry. You said uh, listen to what Lee and Gary tell you what to do. That's what you got to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so listen to the advice. Ask loads of questions. It really will work, and it's not a short term. So lots of people we go on these diets and think once we go for the diet we put it back on, and then and it's like a forever diet. This isn't a forever diet. This is a life changing experience. It's a lot of hard work at the beginning. There's a lot of reading to do. Um, it's quite intense. But once you get in the rhythm of it, as so I say to people, that be patient. Um, don't expect it to come overnight. It will come to you. It just takes time. And once you get it, that's it. You've got that for life. You've got that, you know, that knowledge. I make, I'm smart about my choices. If I'm you know, if I'm trying to, like, when you're on it and you're trying to lose the weight, be smart about your choices. If you haven't accounted for those carbs during the day, be smart about what you choose to eat when you're out so that you don't end up gaining. Yeah. It's like budgeting your money, right? You know, you yeah. you all in the slot machine because then you have nothing left. And so, yeah, I think your approach has definitely been um, very unique, but it's allowed you to enjoy this process and like you said, be in control of this, you know, for the rest of your life. Yeah, I think it's also, it, you've got to do what works for you. So everyone's probably got a different approach to it. So you've got to find your niche or your way of, of working it for you. And it does take time, but it will come to you. Great. Thanks for sharing that, Helen, and for the, um, 
bits of advice thrown in there as well. So if you are watching this video, you just got some free advice from Helen there who's been through this process. And if you do want to speak with me, send me a message or click the link somewhere around this video. But once again, Helen, it's been a great journey seeing you um, commit to this goal of getting um, into the best shape of your life for your birthday. And you did it and you, you smashed it. And I'm very proud to have um, you know, been a part of this journey and to see you here. So once again, a big well done. And thank you for sharing your journey with us today. Thank you.